Welcome to Let's Get To Unboxed. Now your host, James Christopher. And welcome back to Let's Get To. I am your host, James Christopher, wishing everyone a happy new year. I hope everyone had a safe New Year's Eve and is looking forward to 2020 and making it their year. New Year's is always a fun time because it is about change and rebirth and the opportunity to do things a little bit better, lose a little weight, be a little bit better with money. And sometimes for a minor league baseball team, it's the first year of a rebrand and a new identity. And today we're going to talk about the Norwich Sea Unicorns, formerly the Connecticut Tigers. They did a rebrand that they announced a few months ago and you know the name was met with some controversy, honestly like all of these new names are. But the logo design was great. I was all about it and I couldn't wait to get some stuff ordered and then it arrived. So let's take a look at what we got. Now first, uh, big ups to them having branded packing tape. Clearly, uh, it's the first time that we've seen that on the show. So very exciting, really, really love the design. So let's take a look at what we ordered. You know, this isn't as sharp as it looks. It's probably a good thing. Otherwise, we'd be doing Let's Get Two Unboxed from the emergency room. So, tearing into it. And again, already, they've taken a really great step by added, adding some fun stuff for us. One, I love the, uh, the blue and the yellow tissue paper to go with the team colors. The really cool free sticker that will be on my laptop case. But now, the ball cap. The name the Sea Unicorns was chosen as it represents the nautical history of Norwich, as well as the family-friendly entertainment and fun that minor league baseball is known for. It is a tribute to the legendary sea captains of Norwich's history, as well as the tall tales they brought back of sea creatures encountered in their travels, both real and imagined. The new Sea Unicorn's primary logo features a tough-as-nail sea captain narwhal. The narwhal is known as the Unicorn of the Sea, and the primary mark features a rose tattoo in reference to Norwich's moniker as the Rose City, and it all ties back to Norwich's naval history, which is long and rich. We also ordered with, again, a logo that I just love, a pretty sweet t-shirt with our Narwhal Angry Sea Captain on it. So thanks for watching this episode of Let's Get Two Unboxed. It was fun diving into the Norwich Sea Unicorns. The name got a lot of pushback on Twitter when it was first announced. I sometimes think the only thing more controversial these days than renaming your minor league baseball team is releasing a Star Wars film. There's always a lot of irrational hate. I think it's a great name. It's a great look. It's going to allow for a lot of fun at the ballpark. Before we head out of here, we have two things to take care of. One, uh, who are we wearing? We've got the Buffalo Bisons, their zip-up hoodie. We'll be at a Bisons game this May. I'm excited to get out there and check it out. I watched a lot of their games on MILB TV last year. Kevin Biggio playing was a big draw, but very excited to get out there to bring our show out to cover the team live this year. And before we go, I would be remiss if I didn't wish my lovely wife a happy birthday. It's her birthday today. I'm not going to say which one because I enjoy staying married. Um, actually, she's not never been the one who has an issue with her age or anything like that. It's part of one of the things that makes her amazing. The fact that she loves baseball, loves what we're doing, and is always so supportive of all the crazy ideas I have. It's just one of the many reasons why she's the most amazing person I know. So I love you very much, baby. I can't wait to see you tonight. And until next time, let's get to you.